sitting in the stairwell with my feet on the landing between the fourth and the fifth floor of Lewis and Hall. I've made the case that life has evolved and that the earth was not the same place in the past that it is now. The lions of the Serengeti Plain, which are the alpha predators of, Al of Africa today, and the Tyrannosaurus Rex of the Mesozoic were examples of fearsome predators that ruled the earth at different times in the past. In the Paleozoic era, most of the interesting life forms, and certainly the ones that were predators, were more or less confined to the ocean. I have on the floor of the landing before me, the alpha predator of the Ordovician era. He doesn't look so impressive here, except for when you realize that its shell alone, never mind the body, is about two feet long. That's not impressive in size to us, but if most of the life forms were one or two inches in size, this guy was a behemoth patrolling the floors of the Ordovician Ocean looking for prey. I'm pointing to the smaller sharp end and the larger uh, back end of this critter. And you can see a cone-shaped structure in section and cross-section. And inside the cone are a number of little crescent-shaped chambers which essentially record stages in the growth of this critter. And out side of the shell, he would have looked very much the way a squid looks today. He's in fact an ancestor of the squid, but instead of having no shell at all, or an internal shell, this guy put his shell on the outside as this long cone-shaped uh, 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 chambered living space. You can see there's a trail of little dots and tubes that actually were connected to the critter when he lived here. He had communication with all his old apartment houses and he could inflate and deflate those chambers with air to use uh, buoyancy to navigate upwards and downwards through the water column. His squid-like front end would eject water to give him propulsion and so he could go after uh, whatever he thought he would like to have for breakfast or lunch with that sort of locomotion, much the way a squid does today. This was sort of a clunky arrangement to have this great long shell trailing out in front of you or in back of you, depending on which way you were going. And eventually these guys, the cephalopods, this is a, a very ancient and early plan for cephalopod development, learn to roll their long cone into a spiral. At the present time, the relative of this guy, the Nautilus, does this very well. It, it has a squid-like creature hanging out the front of a, a spiral-shaped guy. In the Mesozoic, these ones were related to things that had spiral patterns like the uh, Nautiluses of today, and they were intensely decorated on the seams between their old apartment houses. For those of you who have studied paleontology, you recognize this description of the Ammonite.